I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 320, where I'm going to show you how to calculate the running total number of weeks when dates are in order. I have here a simple data set that has a list of when my fiscal month starts, for what year, and the month number, and then how many weeks are in each one of those fiscal months. And what I would like to do is I would like to go ahead and create a column here that has the uh, total number of running weeks, if you will. So here would be four, this would be eight, this would be uh, 14, this would be 18, and so on, all the way through. And I look at my data set here, I, it's actually in, in my data set, it'd probably be coming from a data import, but I don't have that connected here. But let's pretend that I did an order by clause on it and I was able to bring it in sorted this way. And uh, as long as it's in order, uh, the method that I'm going to show you here will work. And that is simply by going here and saying, I'm going to take the sum of my week counter uh, across, you know, category B first, and I'm going to take my week count, and I want to take it through my week count of category B this. If I go ahead and I hit that, you can see that this goes 4, 8, I add another 6, that's 14, add another 4, that's 18, add another 4, that's 22, add another 5, that's 27, and so on and so forth. So I can do that with simply a recursive formula that always considers the first row and then takes it through the row that I'm on. So again, if I wanted to rename category B, I could simply call it row here, and this will work. The problem is, is if this I if this month start is actually not in order, then I can start getting some maybe wonky calculations that are not quite right. And <clears throat> what I need to do then is I need to use something different. And I can show you that in my next video, so I hope that you'll join me for that. But if you have any questions about recursion or how you would go about using Quantrix Modeler in really any situation, I really hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com and ask me that question because I really do want to take the time to help you, frankly. And I really want to make you a Quantrix master. I want to make you harness the power of Quantrix because I absolutely love Quantrix and it improves my life each day that I get to use it. So I do hope that you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.